It's a kind of magic. It's a kind of magic. One dream, one soul, one prize, one goal. Welcome back to Queen the Greatest and to our second instalment of Queen at the Movies. This time, it's Highlander. It's a kind of magic. One shot. Following the success of their first soundtrack album, Flash Gordon, Queen weren't short of offers to be involved in other film projects. Nothing captured their imagination until 1986 when director Russell Mulcahy made a tentative approach with his new fantasy movie project Highlander to see if the band could be tempted. When I came up to doing Highlander, uh, I thought to myself, the film needs a big, not only a big orchestration score, but it needs a big, a big rock score. I had 20 minutes of the film cut together and I brought them in, and I didn't know how they were going to react, and I only wanted them to do one song in the film. And they saw the footage and they said, we'll do five songs. No, I, I don't know what prompted Russell to get in touch with us, but he said, come down to a screening theatre in Soho and have a look at this and see what you like. And we went and we saw the opening scenes and, and then the, I think the love scene in the Highlands. And we thought it was magnificent visually. You know, it wasn't by no, nowhere near finished by, by then. And we just thought that's really great. We could do some good stuff on that. And. Uh, so we, you know, and that, that, that inspired Brian to write Who Wants to Live Forever. And then I, I wrote Kind of Magic off that, uh, again, nicking the line from the film. And, uh, um, and uh, yeah, that, 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 that sort of, that was quite a nice uh, experience. All right, let's go, let's go! <laughs> I don't know if you, it depends how well you know the Highlander film, but it, it's a, a film about a man who becomes conscious that he's immortal and um, he's reluctant to accept the fact and he's told that if he falls in love he's in for big trouble but of course he falls in love anyway and the girl that he falls in love with eventually grows old and dies in his arms and um, that kind of opened up a floodgate in me I was dealing with various tragedies in my own life my death of my father um, Death of the marriage, etc., etc. Um, so I could immediately hear this Who Wants to Live Forever song in my head, and it was almost complete um, in the car going home. I remember singing it to my manager as he drove me home, and he was pretty surprised. He said, Where did that come from? And I said, I don't even know where it came from, but I can just hear it in my head. Unlike Flash, Queen decided not to release a soundtrack album, but instead paired the Highlander tracks with other songs, such as One Vision and Friends Will Be Friends, to create a full Queen album. They then teamed up with Russell Mackay again to make the promo videos for the majestic Princes of the Universe and the spellbinding A Kind of Magic. <laughs> Discussing it with the director, Russell Mulcahy, in the Groucho Club, and uh, you know, just saying how we want strange little things to happen. Like, sort of, uh, I remember I sort of wanted gargoyles winking and things like that, and, and having this magic stuff flying all over the place. And I think it worked. It worked nicely. It has. It's, it's uh, unpretentious and it, uh, it's rather nice. Over subsequent years, Queen songs have featured on and enhanced a number of films. But the next time the band would provide a full soundtrack, just over 30 years later, would be for a movie they'd be making themselves. Coming soon to Queen the Greatest. Buddy, you're a boy, make a beat.